It's a well-known fact that when a top-secret aircraft is being made, the general public don't usually find out about it straight away. In fact, it can take years for this type of information to reach the masses, and sometimes it's not because the military wanted to tell us, but because there was a leak or people had photographed said craft. One recent aircraft that's been talked about is that of the SR-72. The Lockheed Martin SR-72, also nicknamed the Son of Blackbird, is an American hypersonic aircraft currently under construction. It's the successor to the SR-71 Blackbird, a plane that was able to reach speeds of 3,529km per hour, or 2,200 miles per hour, and heights of 85,000 feet. The SR-72 aircraft will be the most impressive aircraft on the planet, having state-of-the-art hypersonic technology. Some websites are even reporting that the SR-72 will be able to strike targets anywhere in less than an hour. However, not everyone is entirely convinced that this aircraft is in its early stages, with some residents across the United States coming forward with their testimonies and photographs to prove that this hypersonic aircraft is currently flying around in our sky. As mentioned earlier, it can take a few years for the public to find out certain information, and it's known that we have the capability to build these kinds of crafts, because back in the 1960s we had the Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird. There was nothing around at the time that could match it. Even today it holds the record as being the fastest aircraft ever created. Back in the 1960s, this incredible aircraft was able to reach speeds of 3,529 km per hour, or 2,200 miles per hour, so knowing that we had this kind of tech back in the 60s, it's easy to see why people believe that the SR-72 is currently flying around in our sky. One person was driving through Wyoming a few years back when they said they saw a mysterious craft above them. They said that these objects looked like two giant black triangles, but said due to where they were positioned in the sky it was hard to get a decent photograph of them. However, they did manage to snap a photograph and you can clearly see that this aircraft is in the shape of a triangle. It's very rare for people to see these things during the daytime. The eyewitness said the following. On April 10th, 2010, I was driving east on Interstate 1815 when I looked north and saw two black wide triangular shaped flying crafts. I could see their shape as the lights from my truck reflected off one of the bottom of the slow moving crafts. There was a light on each of the points of the triangle. One light was red, one was blue and the third looked like a white or off white. One craft was following the other, and they were flying low west along Interstate 80. They were flying slow enough that I was able to watch them for a while. End quote. Something to note is that, as of right now, no military has come forward to claim that they own these crafts, although sightings of them have been made for at least the last 50 years. These black triangles are somewhat of a mystery, with UFO believers saying that they're not the same as our crafts, while others have said that the latest line of stealth aircrafts. Others have suggested that these large black triangles are actually the SR-72, and those who study these hypersonic aircrafts have said this does add up. Various eyewitnesses who have seen these black triangles have said they've been seen leaving an area at extreme speeds, and it would make sense as we're just learning about these crafts now, and in the past when we found out about new stealth aircrafts they've already been in operation for a few decades. So these sightings of black triangles that people have been reporting for the last 20 years, could be the SR-72 hypersonic aircraft. However, this isn't set in stone, and there's others who have said that we currently don't have anything that could match that of the mysterious black triangles. This begs the question then, what are these things? For over 40 years, the triangle UFO has caused much debate. It's perhaps one of the most common shaped UFOs that's been seen. These crafts are often reported as being silent, and have been seen on a number of occasions just hovering in the sky. Sightings of the triangle UFOs often come in waves, with people seeing dozens at a time. 
they are also perhaps the most photographed UFO as well, with even news programs covering them. What's most impressive about these crafts is that they've been witnessed hovering motionless in the sky, and then suddenly making a high speed departure. Pilots have said they're faster than any conventional aircraft that's currently in the sky. The SR-72 program was mentioned by the Executive Vice President of Aeronautics at Lockheed Martin, and this was during an aerospace exhibition in Fort Worth. They said the following, Although I can't go into specifics, let's just say the Skunks Works team in California is doubling down on our commitment to speed. Hypersonics is like stealth. It's a disruptive technology and will enable various platforms to operate at two to three times the speed of the Blackbird. Security classification guidance will only allow us to say the speed is greater than Mach 5. End quote. As mentioned though, a lot of people don't buy this, and say that the aircraft is already in the sky. In fact, according to one source, they stated that an unmanned subscale aircraft was observed flying into the US Air Force's Plant 42, which is the headquarters of Skunk Works. When those that saw and heard the aircraft asked Lockheed Martin on whether or not this was the SR-72, they declined to comment. Other people across the US have said they've seen stealth looking aircrafts in the sky during the daytime, but note that they're too high and fast to photograph. As of right now it's incredible to think we have an aircraft that's able to do these kinds of speeds. So what do you make of this interesting image? And do you think that the SR-72 is already flying around in our sky? Also, what do you think the mysterious black triangles are that have been seen in our sky now for almost 50 years? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.